Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at interior angles of polygon. So polygon just means a many-sided shape, okay? So it could be a three-sided shape, a four-sided shape, a five-sided shape, a ten-sided shape. So, okay, so a polygon just means a many-sided shape. And the word interior here, as you might already guess, just means inside the shape. So we're going to look at all the angles inside these shapes. Now I'm going to show you um, a few different ways that you can work this out. So you can use whichever one you want. This is just a bit of a reminder and a few things to watch out for. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is identify the interior angles. So what I'm going to do, and if you look at the exterior video as well, this is always the same thing. I'm going to walk around this shape and I'm just going to extend each side. I'm going to walk around, I'm going to go anti-clockwise and I'm going to extend each of these sides like so. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so the first thing to recognize is that the interior angles are the angles inside the shape. So these are these ones here that I'm now shading in red. So they're the interior angles which means that on the outside, these ones here, I'm now shedding in, they are the exterior angles. Okay, now to work those out, you can have a look at my exterior angle video. But just so you know what we're working out, you can see it there. So interior angles are inside, exterior angles on the outside, if you extend all the sides like I just did there. So. A rule that you might have just spotted is that your interior angles, so interior angles, and if you add the exterior angles, because they're on a straight line, when you add the two together, they equal 180 degrees. Okay, so that's the first fact that's always handy to know the interior and the exterior add up to 180 degrees. So let's start having a look at how we can work out each, in, each individual exterior angle. So one way you can do it, and again, if you don't, uh, if you, this doesn't make sense, have a look at my exterior angle video. All of the exterior angles, all these angles in black, they always add up to 360, no matter what. If it's a five-sided shape or an eight-sided shape or a three-sided shape or a ten-sided shape, the exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. So one way you can work out the interior angle is to use that fact. So 360 degrees is what all the exterior angles add up to. And in this case, I have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. So if I do 360 divided by five... It's going to leave me with 72 degrees. So an exterior angle, I'll just put EXT, exterior angle equals 72 degrees. Now using this fact, that exterior angle plus an exterior angle gives me 180 degrees, I can then do 180 minus 72 to give me 108 degrees. Okay, so my interior angle here is going to be 108 degrees. So that's obviously what one of them is worth. Therefore, if you wanted to know what the sum, and by sum I mean the total, so if I wanted to know what all of them added up to be, I could then just do 108 times by how many there are, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 108 times by 5. I am going to cheat and just use a quick calculator, which is 540. Okay, so that one there, 540. So the individual interior angles are 108. The sum of all the interior angles added together is 540. And we also worked out the exterior angle is 72. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. You work out the exterior, that then tells you the interior, and then using that you can then work out the total. So that's one way you can do it. The other way you can do it is if I come down to this example here, where I have uh, an octagon, which is uh, eight sides, is to pick a point. I'm going to pick this point here, and you can split the shape up into triangles. So to do that, you just basically draw a line from that point you've just highlighted to every single corner, like so. Okay. 
Okay, so obviously there's no point drawing a line from there to there because it is just that side. Okay, so I split up by joining up that point with all the available points around or corners around the shape. Now angles in a triangle, as you should know from looking at my uh, angles uh, in a triangle video, add up to 180 degrees. Each of these triangles, the interior angles are going to be 180 degrees. Okay, so to work out the sum of all the interior angles, so that one, 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 to work that out, all I do is go, okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six triangles, so I've got six triangles, and I know that they all have interior angles of 180, so I just do six times 180. So again, I'm just going to cheat here. 6 times 180 is 1080 degrees. So the sum of all the interior angles there adds up to 1080 degrees. Okay. Now because this is regular, this is a regular shape, uh, therefore all the angles are the same, if I want to work out what one of them is worth, I just do the sum of all the angles, which we just worked out as 1080, and I divide that by how many angles there are, which is 8. So I then divide that by 8, which gives me 135 degrees. Okay, so individually, each interior angle is 135 degrees. So the key point with this one is that I can work out the sum of all the interior, uh, interior angles. That's not a problem. And because this shape is regular, i.e. all the sides are the same and uh, all the angles are the same, I can then divide that by 8 to work out what each individual one is worth. Just worth pointing out as well, guys, that's why I could do it up here with the exterior angles, 360 divided by 5, because it is, again, a regular shape. Okay, that's why I could use that trick. So... Let's have a look at this example here then. So this time I haven't got a diagram. It just says the angle at the centre of a regular, so again, regular meaning that all the sides and angles are the same, of a regular polygon is 60 degrees. How many sides does it have? Okay. Well, if I say that that dot is my centre, around the dot, so around the point, the angle will be 360 degrees. So if that adds up to 360 degrees, and I know that one... So the angle at the centre of a regular polygon is 60 degrees. I can then divide that by 60 to tell me it's 6. So this side here has 6 uh, sides. So this, this polygon has 6 sides. Let's see what that looks like. So if I have my centre there, and that angle there is 60, and therefore there's one side, I can then have 60 there, which is another side, 60 there, which is another side, Another 60, another 60, another 60. So as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's got 6 sides. So if it's at the centre, the angle at the centre is 60, just do 360 divided by 60, and then you can work out how many sides it's got. Okay, it's just another question that could be asked. So that's regular, that's regular, this is talking about regular. Let's have a look at when they're irregular, so when all the angles and sides aren't the same. Okay, so... As you can see, these two here are irregular. So what I need to do is I need to work out what the sum of all the interior angles add up to, and then I can work out the missing values. So I'm just going to come back to my example here, to what we did here. So this time I split up this shape into different triangles, okay? So I had six triangles for an eight-sided shape because I didn't include that side there and I didn't include that side there. So we need to come up with a formula and the formula that is generally used is they say n, which means the number of sides, so number of sides. Okay, we take away two, so if I do n take away two, that's going to tell me the number of triangles inside the shape. So here I had eight sides, I take away two, I'm left with six triangles. Up here, if I was to split this up into triangles, I'd have one there, two there, and three here. And it's a five-sided shape, so five take away two gives me three, so it works. So the n take away two, that tells me how many triangles I'm going to have. And then just like I did here, I times it by 180, because once you know how many triangles there are, you times it by 180, and then that's going to tell you the total sum, oops, 
of the interior, uh, sorry, yeah, interior angles. Okay, and that's generally the formula that's used. N, take away two, so number of sides, you take away two to find out how many triangles it has, and you times it by 180. Now you can just draw it, it's not a problem, but that's the formula that's generally used. And that's the one I'm gonna use for my irregular polygons here. So first of all, uh, this is on a straight line. So remember, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So I just do 180 minus 70 will give me 110. So this here is going to be 110. And this is the angle that's inside the polygon that I don't know. Okay, and it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sided polygon. And they're all different. So I need to know what all the angles in a six sided polygon add up to. So I'm going to use that formula and go, okay. It's got six sides. I need to take away two, because that's going to tell me how many triangles I have, and I'm going to times that by 180. So in other words, I'm just doing four times 180. Okay, and that's going to give me 720. So that's what all of these angles are going to add up to be. Okay, and if you're unsure, you can just draw your triangles on there. It's not a problem, but using the formula, that's what we have. So what do I need to do now? I need to add up all the angles I do know. So I need to do 110 plus 97 plus 124 plus 142 plus the 87. So if you add all those up, you get a total. Now I've done this before, uh, earlier on. And if you add them all up, you get 560. Okay. So once you know what all those angles add up to be, and you know that they all of them, including this angle here, should be 720. We just do 720 minus the 560, uh, which gives us... Hang on, what's going on here? Let's just double check that, so I'm, I'm doubting myself here. Yep, 160, yep, 160. Okay, so that angle there is going to be 160. And again, because that's on a straight line, they're going to add up to 180. So 180 take away 160 is going to leave us with 20. So C would be 20 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at this example here. Again, I've got one missing angle here, which is X. But to work that out, I need to know what all of these add up to. So I've got one side, two side, three side, four side, five, six, seven. So this one is a seven sided polygon. So seven sides take away two using that formula. That's going to tell me how many triangles I have. And again, you can draw it if you want. I'll quickly do it just so you can see. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five triangles. And I'm going to times that by 180 because it's 180 degrees in each triangle. So Essentially, I'm doing 5 times 180, and that's going to give me 900. So all of these angles inside this polygon are going to add up to 900 degrees. So let's add up the ones that we do know. So again, I've got 155 plus 95 plus 125 plus 165 plus 90 plus 150. So if you add those all up, again, I used a calculator early to get tell me that was 780. So to work out that missing one, I just do the total, which we worked out was 900, take away 780, which is going to be 120 degrees. So X there is 120 degrees. And just a little one here to finish off, just a heads up. So in this case, these little dashes tell me that these sides are all the same length. So this is a regular one, two, three, four, five, six sided shape. So a hexagon, regular hexagon. And if it's regular, just like I did before in that worded example, to work out X, okay, if I split this all up, like so, I'm gonna have six uh, triangles, so six angles, so six X's. So I do 360 divided by six, which tells me the angle X is 60. And then because that, from the center to that corner there, center to that corner there, they're the same length. So this is actually an isosceles triangle. I can then do 180 degrees, because that's 180 degrees inside a triangle, minus the 60, which we just worked out is X, which gives me 120. And then because this is an isosceles triangle, that angle there, that angle there are both gonna be Y. I can do 120 divided by two, because they're the same. 
to again get 60. So actually, this triangle is an equilateral triangle because all the angles are 60. They're all the same. Okay, so it's just a little example there just to be aware of, just in case they ask you. And again, what type of triangle is that? So you initially think it's an isosceles, but actually when you work out the angles, yes, you can tell that actually it's an equilateral triangle. Okay, so again, just a few things there uh, to try and help you and look out for using that formula. Or again, just a quick reminder, you can also, for regular polygons, use the fact that the exterior angles add up to 360, and you can work out the exterior angle, and using that, you can then work out the interior angle. So there's different ways you can do it. Hopefully that helps. Cheers, guys.